Hey, how's everybody doing? <clears throat> My name is Emmanuel, and in this video, you're going to be learning how to run Facebook ads for cell repair businesses, cell repair shops. This can be either if you're mobile or if you have multiple locations. So again, in this video, you're going to be learning how to run Facebook ads for cell repair, cell repair shops if you're mobile or if you have a physical location. Stay tuned to the end of the video. We'll be having a nice little surprise for everyone. So right now, what you're looking at is the Facebook ads manager. Now, if you're not familiar with Facebook advertisements, well, it's 2019, please make sure you are because Facebook ads are a great, great way to generate customers, you know, to drive more traffic to your website and just get more people to know about your business and your brand. But with Facebook, you're able to target people precisely because of the access that they have from various data companies. So in this campaign, I'm going to kind of be showing you a little bit about, I'm not going to dive exactly into everything about Facebook ads, but I'm just going to focus on how just to use Facebook advertisements to get those people in and the most effective, effective way. So now you can see they have different marketing objectives. Objectives are what you're going to be pretty much running the campaign for. This can be brand awareness, reach, traffic, conversions, but today we're going to be focusing on lead generation. Now what that means is that it collect leads and information for people interested in your business. What you're able to do is you're able to create lead pages, pretty much those advertisements that are keeping the people on Facebook because the secret is with Facebook advertising, generally, of course, they're still going to give you good leeway when you're advertising towards your website. But if you're keeping people on the platform, because that's the whole purpose of these social media websites, if you're keeping people on the platform, then Facebook is going to award you even more. So we're going to be using lead generations. Um, we're just going to call this campaign, you know, sell, repair, deal. Uh, now we'll continue. Now this is where it's the targeting. Now this is where you're choosing the page um, and everything else. So I'm going to be just using, of course, this is the page I'm using. I'm just using my company, you know, marketing agency page. And we're focusing on... Um, let's pick an area. So let's do Miami, Florida, uh, Miami, Florida, and we're, let's say if our cell repair business is in there. Now you can also even do either a certain mile radius. Now, of course, you don't have it too big because you don't want people coming from different places, or you can focus on the current city only. So you see if it's 25 miles within city radius, potential reach of 3 million to 200,000 people. But if we go to current city only, that shaves all the way down to 1 million 500 people. So that's kind of what we're going to focus on, only people on, on that side. Um, age, we're just going to keep it in there, 18 to 65, all people. That's what we're going to keep. Now, you can, you can do separate on age, gender, languages. We're just going to leave that stuff open for right here. But this is where the good place is. This is the detailed targeting. So you can see for browse, you can have certain interests based on family relationships, if people are dating, um, food and drink, what people like to do, but our focus is on cell phone repair. So let's say we're running a deal on iPhone repair and we want this deal to show up. We can be able to target different iPhones that people have. So for example, iPhone, let's type in, um, six, oh, that's the wrong one, iPhone user. We can be able to target people who own iPhones. So just look at how we're able to target people who have own iPhone 7s. Let's do iPhone 6s. Um, let's do iPhone 6s Plus, iPhone 6 Plus. Let's go ahead and do iPhone 6. Now you can even do on Facebook, you can have certain behaviors. So people who are likely to own an iPhone 8 Plus mobile device, and that's what they use when they're on on there. So now we have all the newer iPhones. Um, so this means these are people who own iPhone 6s all the way to iPhone 7 Pluses and people who are using, who are accessing Facebook through their iPhones. So again, look how the target has gone down. Um, let's also add in the iPhone 8. Let's see if there's any more um, that we can go ahead and be able to add in, but that's just where we'll, X, you know, we just, we'll do the five iPhone XR. And that's just where we are for it there right now. We're just going to focus on iPhones, no Galaxy phones. As you can see, right now, 18 to 65, if we're targeting people from all the way to iPhone 6 to iPhone 8, we have a potential audience of 570,000 people as a whole. But a daily, if we were spending, if this is $20 a day, let's see how, you can you can even go down to $1 a day, but you see how there's no ads that are coming in there. Let's say if you're charging, we're using $10, we'll go back to $20. If you're spending $20 a day, that's $140 a week you're able to reach 639 to 1.8 thousand potential people a day. And 
that means that's how many people are going to be seeing your advertisements and you're able to get from three to 12 leads. That means at $20 a day, you're able to get three to 12 leads of potential people spending anywhere from, from $50 to $150, depending on what you're doing. So in retrospect, you're spending $140. All you need is one customer just to be able to be getting that cost to be pay, paying for that. Because at the end of the day, when people are thinking about marketing, you're necessarily spending marketing. Yes, you are spending money to do it, but you just have to figure out the correct way on getting your customers to really pay for your marketing. Now, as we come to the next next place right here, again, you know, here, imagine this is where your Facebook pages would be and or your Instagram, because now when we're running these advertisements, these advertisements are not just coming onto Facebook and Instagram. They're also coming on various audience networks that are located in there. Now, here's where we're going to choose our picture. Generally, I would say use a picture that you have either of your store or if it, even if it's a video of yourself. Um, currently, of course, I don't have that right now. So what we are going to do is use, um, let's see if they'll let us use a stock image. Add image, stock, we'll go to stock, iPhone repair. Let's see what comes up from there. Now here, the good thing is you can be able to get an iPhone. Actually, this is perfect. Here we go. Let's go ahead and use that image. We'll just have one image for right now. Because of what you can also do is you can choose multiple images. And now you're not paying extra for any advertisements, but you just, you're split testing, being able to see what images are working well rather than others. Now you can see right here, this is the image that it's going to use. Um, let's say the website is going to be, um, you know, call to action. We're going to say, you know, get offer. Our headline is going to be fix um, repair. Let's see. We'll do the headline. This is the headline where people are being able to see everything. So we'll see it's fix, not fix your cracks, but fix your iPhone today. Exclamation point. Display link, you know, www fix your iphone miami.com now of course this is where you know people will be clicking and then this is the text as you can see facebook is you know is generally fixing this as we're going and you can see we're making this live advertisements right now so in the description this is where you're going to be not necessarily selling but marketing of what you, what you want to sell so here you can be able to directly talk to the people so you can say attention miami uh iphone users um, tired of having a fast, an amazing phone, but doesn't work because of all the cracks, question mark, click the link below to get your phone fixed for as low as $59 today. Prices vary, prices varies depending on iPhone model. So now, in this message, it's short, it's, it's very short, you're just saying attention Miami iPhone users. Tired of having an amazing phone but doesn't work because of all the cracks on your screen. So here, you're addressing the problem right right here click the link below oops click the link below um click the link below to get your phone fixed for as low as $59 today prices vary yes so here is where click the link below to get your phone fixed for as low as $59 today prices vary depending on iPhone model now as you can see that's where the ad has changed and you can have a news feed link description you know fix your iPhone today you're directly stating the problem your Facebook pixel is what you're able to use to, to retarget people. So you get data on people clicking, viewing, and everything. And this is really important because if you're able to have data on people who are clicking on the link and are not going through, you're able to target those people and be able to come back to them. Now here is where you can have, uh, you can be able to create a, a form. So here you can see different forms. I'll show you an example. So form type, we'll click on this. It's, you know, we want that one intro op optional. This is the headline we're going to be saying, um, fix, again, fix your iPhone today. 
um, inf information, fill in your information below to get access to your iPhone screen repair deal today. All right, that's all we are right, right there. You scroll down, questions. Now here's where you're asking people questions. Now the reason Facebook lead ads work really, really well is that you're getting their information on Facebook. So they're not having to input something else. They're not having to go through funnel, press any buttons. All the information that they have, which is correct on their Facebook profile, is just being inputted in there. So here we're not necessarily asking them any questions. Um, if I can go right here, here we're just pretty much, we just want people just to fill out uh, what, you know, what we basically want. So here, you know, we want their, you know, their full name. Um, we also want their phone number, right? We want their phone number. And we want their, let me come right here, their zip code. Now, boom, phone, email, zip code. Now, these are three important things for us because this helps us know their name, their email, their phone number, zip code, their contact information, of course, and we can be able to get them from there. Link text, this is where it's coming up. Uh, Rink required. What you can do for here, uh, fix my iPhone, Miami.com. This is just privacy policy, just making sure you're stating how you know kind of making sure with facebook guidelines and etc um and then you have your thank you screen now here's what you can have so after they input the information this is what they're going to see so thanks you're all set your information has been sent to ek consulting and research llc tap below to visit ek consulting and research llc um or what you can change it to it says your information has been sent um tap below to call slash to call and book your screen repair appointment today so now here's where you're inserting a sense of urgency now what people are able to do you're able to help people to call you instantly so if your button text right here um book your appointment today now you have your phone number you know nine eight what you know four 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 two 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 one nine zero nine eight whatever it is just something random this is what a lead ad looks like now these are really are really effective because again this is generally on facebook and it's kind of you're keeping the people on there their information is instant right there that they're putting in so they're able to go through they have to put in all this information so you're building a database that you're also able to go ahead and contact so right here you know then you can call the form so you can be able to use it um you know, we'll call this iPhone repair form and we'll save it and then we'll finish. And then that's what people are going to see to input their information. So again, we went over the targeting, how we're targeting in a certain location. What you can also do instead of targeting Miami as a whole, let's say if you're in Miami, you can put in your address and you can target people 10 miles away from your address who are recently going to, who are going to come more because they're closer to you. Um, you can target, you know, people if they certain, spend money with certain cards or et cetera. So again, this is how to run Facebook ads for any cell phone repair shop. If you're a cell phone repair shop or any other business watching this, this can be done for any other business. But if you are a cell phone repair shop or any other type of business, feel free to click the link in below in the description, which will take you to my Calendly. So you can go ahead and book a call and find out on how this same exact strategies can be implemented to your business. Thank you and have a great day. Bye-bye.